A long, long time ago, the clouds traveled throughout the sky, but they did not drop rain across the land. But one day there was a cloud born, and it was the saddest cloud that anybody had ever seen. It just cried down tears all the time, and it didn't even know why it was sad. It was just sad. And one of its friends said, I hear that there's a great wise cloud in the west. Maybe if you go see that cloud, it will tell you what, why you are so sad. And the cloud said, yes, that might be a good idea for me to go see the great wise cloud. And the friend said, I will go with you because it is unwise to let a sad cloud go all by itself. And the two took off on the journey. And they were about 500 miles into the trip. And they come across another cloud. And the cloud asked, where are you going? And they said, we are going to see the great wise cloud. Oh, my great, great grandpa. Yes, I've heard of him. But I have never yet met him. Can I go with you and go see him for myself? Why, yes, you can go with us, and we'll find out why I am so sad. And they traveled on another thousand miles, and they came across another cloud. And the cloud said, where are you going exactly? Oh, we're going to see the great wise cloud. Oh, that is my father. Yes, I haven't been to see my father in years. Can I go with you too? Why, sure, come with us. And so the four clouds went to see the great wise cloud. And they got to the great wise cloud, and the great wise cloud said, Ah, oh, you have come because you are sad. Yes, how did you know? Why, you're dripping tears all the way to the ground. I can see it. But why? Why am I so sad? Ah, you've come quite a ways, thousands of miles. Why don't you wait here three days? And you will find out why you have been so sad. And so they waited there three days. And after those three days, the great wise cloud said, Turn around and look, and you will see why you have been so sad. And the, great, and the cloud, sad cloud turned around, and he saw that everywhere he had traveled, the there were plants that were green and lush, and surrounding that area, there was just desolate nothingness. And the sad cloud became the joyful cloud, because he had been able to water the planet and bring forth life that had not existed. And after that, he was always joyful. And he went back to find the other clouds, and he told them the story. And they cried down, jo to cried down tears of joy also and watered the whole world. And now you know the story of why we have life on this planet. Thank you.